Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. Today, I'm gonna to be going over an in-depth guide on how to play Jet on Ascent coming from a top 400 Radiant player. And so, yeah, let's get right into it. This is how I like to play Jet personally on Ascent. Um, I actually made guides on how to play Duelist on both attacking on defense uh, and defense and a lot of things that you need to think about when you're playing Duelist on attack and defense. So if you wanna check those videos out, I'll leave them in the description below. But let's get right into it here. Let's start with the uh, attack pathing. So let's start with the B hit. If we're going B, typically what I like to do is obviously you're going to have um, maybe an omen blind for B main to blind here. off this angle. So you can come here and clear it. And then obviously you want to check this corner as well. And then when you're scaling up, you want to be clearing this uh, these angles right here, waiting for your smokes to go down. Here. Once your smokes are down onto market and uh, CT, what you want to do is actually the most default thing that you can do is throw a cloud burst onto the switch here and then dash into your cloud burst on top of the switch. While you're dashing out, what you want to do is you always want to make sure that you're looking left and you're looking right when you're dashing out. So when we look left, we clear lane for our team. When we look right, we clear logs for our team. And a lot of mistake, uh, common mistake that jet players make is when they're dashing out, they'll stare at their crosshair, which is actually not what you want to do. You actually want to put all of your attention on your minimap top left because even if you see an enemy for 0. like 0 0.01 seconds, they will still show up on your minimap. So um, things that you might miss when dashing out uh, will actually show up on the minimap. So when we dash out and we look left and right, we actually want to look at our minimap and make sure to calm out anything that you see on there for your teammates. So we're dashing out on a switch, looking left, looking right. We're going to land on top of the switch right here. And again, a lot of things that some lower ranks may not know is you actually don't have to look down at the switch to activate the door. If you're standing on top of a switch and you press F, it will still activate the door even though you're not looking directly at the switch. So just keep that in mind. It makes your pathing a lot easier when you're dashing out onto the switch and you're on top. You can just press F when you're on top of it and it will instantly close the door. So after you're dashed out onto, your, uh, onto the switch here, here, you know, CT should be smoked. So don't be worried about that. You're going to come out like this and then you're going to wrap stairs here and you're going to clear stairs. You're going to clear back site. You're going to look here as well this angle as well and then what you want to do is you here. actually want to scale up sca uh, stairs while your team here. is scaling up lane you're going to clear this close angle for your team and then you guys are going to crunch the b site and you're going to clear all the back site and everything and that is the most basic entry path that you can take uh as jet another entry path that you can do uh this is very good if you're on light buys like on a specter or if you have knives popped and you're sort of on um a half buy round what you can do is actually throw a smoke right here, get into the smoke, updraft, dash over this hut, and then you can actually entry the site like this. So again, you just throw a smoke close, get into the smoke, updraft, and you can dash over this hut just like that. Um, and then you can obviously clear everything. So that's a another path that you can take as well uh, onto B. Uh, but moving on, we're going to move on to the A site pathing for attacking. So when we go A, there's really one ideal path that you want to take and that's the top gen dash and so you're, what you're going to do is you're going to throw a cloud burst just like that on top of gen and then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, updraft dash into that smoke and so we're just going to updraft dash look left look right again always make sure you're flicking your mouse left to clear the here. close angle here up here and all these close angles for your team when you're dashing out onto top gen and then after your top gen the reason why this angle is so strong is because you're in your cloud burst here um and then you can either get flashes coming over or, you know, obviously if you're playing ranked and you're just not communicating that much, you're just not going to have flashes, but that's fine because you come out of the smoke. Immediately, you can clear this angle. You can clear dice. And then you can also look down here and clear gen as well. But the mo the reason why this top gen dash is so strong is because anybody hiding right side hell, you will see their feet right here. So you're able to actually kill anybody that's hiding right side hell. The only thing that's not clear from this dash is left side hell which you can just drop down and clear afterwards. But when you're on top of gen, you basically have vision of the entire site and you also have vision uh, of this angle as well, right here. So that's why the top gen dash is so strong. Other dashes you can do is obviously you can just dash dice right here, like that, look left, look right, and then you can come out this way, right? You can clear this obviously first, come out this way, and then you can wrap like this and clear everything else. Um, but the strongest dash for A is going to be the top gen dash. And then after you clear everything, you don't even have to clear uh, left side health for your team. Your team can clear that. But you can just stay up here and take fights right here. Um, get ready to play anti-flash, obviously. And then you can just take fights. And your teammates can also swing off you on this heaven angle. 
Um, one last thing to talk about is defaulting as Jets. So defaulting, your main job when you're defaulting as a duelist is just to look for opening picks. So you can like go here, start, you know, cutting these angles right here and looking for picks on B, CT, stairs like this, just taking it slow. And then if you want to duel off rip, what you can do is buy an op. You can op cat, or you can even fight this with a rifle if you're feeling confident. If you have a rain on your team, you can ask for a leer. Uh, or even just like a KO flash or something like that, and you can peek cat, hold this angle for your team with like an op, let's say, while they scale up mid and work up mid. Um, and then afterwards, you can take fights here, pizza, you can take fights here, like this, into market, and then you can end with an A split or whatever, whatever you want to do. And then obviously, if you're defaulting A, you're just again looking for picks on the common angles, right? So that's pretty much it for attacking. That's Those are the entry paths that I take. Now let's move on to defense jet. So defense jet, what I like to do is default, I start out on A uh, for pistol round. So for pistol round, I go straight over to A. Your job as a duelist on defense is to uh, get space and look for information for your team. If you guys watch my guide on how to play duelist on defense, I go over all of this. So your main job basically here is to get into A main. So what I do for pistol round is I get into A main and I go wide. And you're able to get away with this because you have a dash, obviously, that you can get out with, but you can also ask your uh, smoke player for a one-way right here. So with this one-way, this fight is pretty much very advantageous for you, and you're just holding this angle right here wide uh, with the one-way, just looking for any feet to shoot at. And if you're in any danger, you can always just dash out, and you can reposition and look for another fight at a different angle. So you can do like this, or you can go back gen and fight like this, or you can go dice and fight around dice as well so a lot of different options but your main job is to take space of a main and then even if you don't see any presence you can wait for that one way to fade scale up a main and you're getting so much information right here for your team so if you're able to scale up and take all of the space you already know that it's going to be 90 percent chance here. that they're hitting b um, and so if you're able to take all the space you can communicate that to your team and you can even go for a fast flank or you can hold for them in an off angle for if they ever if they want to rotate back to a so a lot of things you can do as a duelist when you take space for your team you get a lot of information same thing uh, on b is you want to go for this aggressive fight you can ask your ko for a blind there's a really nice pop flash that lands in the window here i think you aim like here go up to the height of the barrel and then you just left click a flash and it pops on this window so you can scale up you can ask your ko for that and then you can go up with that flash uh, and take fights and take space but yeah, so one more thing is when I'm opping on defense, obviously your main job as a jet is going to be to op unless you have a chamber that's opping, but opping can pretty much just win you any game in ranked because it's just free. Not a lot of people counter ops really well in ranked because they don't know how to, but basically you can just post up on an angle, right? And then you can also scale up. You can ask for some util to help you to scale up and you can get this entire line right here, which is huge info for your team if you have this line right here on A then obviously you can send an extra person to either pad B or pad mid for your team. But the main thing about opping is you always want to be dynamic. You want to be a dynamic opper, meaning that I op A for one round, and then it really is comes down to your game sense. You want to kind of predict where the enemy is going to go. So let's say this round I opt A and um, you know they they ran into me and I killed, I killed like two, let's say, and then my team closed out the round. Next round, I might want to switch it up and maybe go for a pick on tiles, or I can go towards B because I might feel like they're hitting B or if they have a killjoy alt or something. It's really just reading the situation and trying to predict where the enemy goes. You don't ever want to be uh, predictable and you don't want to be one of those static duelists that just play the same site every round, right? You want to change it up and make sure you're almost like everywhere that the enemy is. But that really just comes down to reading the game and being able to predict based on ultimates, based on like, you know, previous rounds where the enemy is going to go. But yeah, so another thing with opping is once you take a shot, you want to reposition, so I take a shot there, maybe I get a kill, I want to reposition to a different angle, take a shot here, and then I can back up again to a different angle as well, take a shot here, I can drop down, and then I can play this lane angle. So you really you really just want to give yourself as much opportunities as possible when you're opping uh, to, to get your shot off and to get a kill, so repositioning with the op after you take a shot is pretty important, but there's there are situations where you take a shot, and you might want to go aggro again into another off angle. So let's say I get a kill here and I still have dash. I can pop my dash and go wide and then I can hold like this 
so that, you know, if there's anyone behind that player I just killed, they're not really expecting me to go aggro again with my dash. Um, something A player that does this really well is Aspass, so if you want to op like Aspass, that's pretty much his entire style is uh, keeping pressure with the op and staying in that aggressive position. That's pretty much that's pretty much how Aspass plays. But yeah, um, I could honestly make an entire video on opping, but there's really a lot to talk about. But yeah, that's pretty much all I do on defense. If you guys, again, want like an in-depth guide, um, your main job, just to keep in mind, your main job is just to take space as a duelist on defense and get information for your team. But um, but yeah, there's really not much else to say. Um, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, but that's pretty much it. That was like the basic guide on how to play Jet on Ascent. Hope this video helped you out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.